Brian and Johnny. So, uh, yeah, I was preparing a story for uh, the sweaty life. Because I misread it. And, uh, and then when I got here, uh, my friend uh, Penny said it was the sweet life. So I'm not going to tell you the story about the sweaty uh, couple months at the Turkish prison. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to tell you a story about a time I was working in Atlanta on a rap music video for R. Kelly. And it was one of the most challenging times in my life. So I got this job uh, working on a rap music video for R. Kelly, who, you know, for kind of pretty fake, well, a bunch of white people here, you probably never even heard of him. But uh, uh, anyway, he's this uh, famous rapper and, um, you know, uh, top 10 charts for a long time. But anyway, uh, so I was in Atlanta and I got a call and I got a job for that. And I was actually the prop master, which was huge for me at the time uh, because it was my first big prop master gig on a big job like this. And it was interesting because we were shooting at this guy's mansion house that actually invented the ATM software. So he went to college, he was kind of nerdy, and in college he invented ATM software that went global and he became a gazillionaire overnight. So he bought this really uh, crazy giant mansion, he had this giant uh, lake out there, you, you hit a button and it, it had fountains and it played music and he had giant pools. Anyway, uh, a couple of white people went up there and they were like, hey, can we use your mansion for a film? And he's like, sure, I'm in this divorce and I'd love to get it on film. And then the crew shows up. Uh, <laughs> So we show up, the first thing we did was we backed the camera truck into the front of his uh, house. Uh, then um, when we were uh, setting up the, uh, the lighting, um, the uh, crane uh, tipped over on the hill and went into his pond. Just all kinds of things. He said, whatever you do, don't use any of the bathrooms but the ones in the garage. And the garage is bigger than any house you've ever lived in, trust me. And, uh, but everybody started using the bathrooms anyway, and then pretty soon, um, um, poop and everything else was coming through uh, all the ceilings with all the bathrooms we weren't supposed to use. Uh, but anyway, the sweet life. Let me get back to that. So, uh, as a prop master, I had to prop every set. And one of the things was um, we built this giant seven-tiered cake that uh, a girl would jump out of. And uh, we did the MTV BET version, and then we did the director's version where the girl was completely naked. And uh, so I built the seven uh, tier cake. Uh, we had these three foot sparklers. And then the tops of the cake, uh, we built out of rice paper uh, with a, a, a round wood circle so we could do seven takes of uh, this beautiful Nubian princess jumping out of the cake seven times. Uh, now, it was a challenge to get to the cake scene because somebody had stole all the jewelry, and I was a prop master, so I was in charge of all the jewelry, and of course they wanted platinum, uh, but it was really just the best silver I could find because it was a low budget, even for R. Kelly. And then the other challenge was they put out a cast call to all the girls in Atlanta, so about 118 girls showed up, but they kept, for every scene, they kept picking the same seven girls. So after about three days of this, and um, as prop master, I had to keep getting Christelle champagne for the set, uh, but they were also feeding it to the extras, the girls. So after about the, the, the third day of this, right before the cake scene, uh, they went up, okay, we're doing the race car scene where we, everybody's playing remote control cars, smoking blips, and just, you know, looking at hot women. Uh, I want you, 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 and you. And by this, this time, the other girls are really getting pissed off. And they're like, hell no! It's always you same bizarches! I'll snatch you bald head! And she literally grabbed the girl, snatched her by the hair, and next thing I know, all the girls just went into a pile. I guess to beat up the seven girls, because then they probably wouldn't get picked after that. I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, but anyway, after that, it was time for the cake scene. So, here we are. The big cake scene, right? And, uh, 
I'm just so upset at this point because I'm miserable. I don't know what my next job is actually. I just know I gotta get the cake in. I know all the jewelry's gone and what am I gonna do about that? I know that I've been working uh, five days straight, 17 hours a day. I know I almost got beat up by a bunch of guys because I almost got in a fist fight with R. Kelly because there was only, this place is huge. There's a nine hole golf course there. And there's only uh, three Cushman uh, golf carts to help you move around the set and everything. And um, the guys haven't eaten for about nine hours, so I had all the meals for the art department, and this guy jumps into my golf cart and says, I'll be right back. And I was like, oh, hell no, you won't. <laughs> and uh, I got to feed my guys, and I'm like, ready to do, you know, whatever. You're not taking the car. Then all of a sudden, these guys come rushing me. It turns out that was R. Kelly. And I was like, hey, Mr. <laughs> Kelly, take the cart. Uh, <laughs> let me know when I can have the food back. But anyway, so it's the time for the uh, cake scene. Well, it turns out, as the prop master, I'm in charge not only of putting the lid on, but also, every time she comes out, I have to wipe off all the shaving cream off this woman to make it look like it's the first take all over again. <laughs> so here I am, her first take, the second take, the third take. Now it's director's cut. Whoop, whoop, fully naked, right? And hey, I'm a guy, right? And I was like 10 years younger then, so I was kind of a pervert, which I'm not now. Trust me, I'm not. And so um, now it's director's cut, and I mean, you popped, have you ever popped through a shaving cream? Uh, right? yeah. Okay, well, anyway, it gets all over you, right? So here I am with my little uh, spritzy bottle. <laughs> Oops, I missed a spot. Come back, come back. We can't have that on film. It'll look like we shot it already. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. And all of a sudden I said, I don't care about the $10,000 table that the stripper was dancing on. And I put plexiglass on and these rubber dots to not get it scratched and it still got scratched. I don't care that the crane fell into the lake. I don't care that I might be on the hook for all this jewelry. At this time in my life, at 30 years old, I'm getting paid $600 a day for 10 hours, then time and a half till 12 hours, and then double time from 12 hours on to 17 hours to squeegee this beautiful Nubian princess. <laughs> and that was the sweet spot. <laughs> Kathy Walker, everybody.